Okay, strangest things have happened, guys. Today I'll be showing you uh, some of the best uh, wireless gaming headsets under $100. Yes, I've got about six for you here, and I think you're gonna like each and every one of them. They function in different ways, they work with multiple devices, and I've got some buzzing sound here in the background, so you get to hear a good example of how well the microphones for each of these headsets actually work out. So. Let's jump into our very first headset. So the very first headset is the HyperX Cloud Stinger Core Wireless. Now the Core Wireless is a $79 headset from HyperX, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's really lightweight, comfortable, comes with 40 mm drivers, so you can hear those sounds quite effectively with 7.1 surround sound which is great. Now, the microphone of the headset is pretty solid. You can hear me talk with this microphone. This is where you're getting the sound sample from. Uh, and you get about 17 hours of battery life. Just just charge with USB Type-C charging, uh, which is good, and 2.4 hertz, uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency, which is all given to you by that USB dongle, which you can connect to your PlayStation or, of course, your PC like I'm doing now. This will work with your PS5 as well, as well as your PS4, because the PS5 does allow USB connectors uh, uh, for connectivity for headset. So a solid headset, really nice price, really good but basic in general, the HyperX uh, Cloud Stinger Core Wireless. Now the next headset is the Pulse 3D headset. Now if you guys saw my video with this headset versus the Xbox headset, you know that the Pulse 3D headset is a really solid gaming headset. Now, this connects via a USB dongle to your PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, as well as also your PC, as I'm doing right now. Uh, great microphone quality, especially for a headset that doesn't have a boom mic of any sorts. Very comfortable headset. You also have uh, all your controls on your left ear cup with your mic monitoring, volume, uh, USB, USB Type-C port uh, for charging, giving you about 20 hours of battery life. I think overall you will like this headset, especially if you're a PlayStation owner and you also want to use it on your PC, maybe for video calls or also just gaming your PC. I think this will work out well. So uh, $99. Nice offering from PlayStation. Now this is the Xbox wireless headset from Microsoft and this will work with both your Xbox Series S, Series X, Xbox One, as well as also your PC, which is pretty cool. Now this headset does not require a dongle of any kind. And then you also have your mic monitoring here on your left ear cup with of course your mic mute right underneath. And uh, it's a very comfortable headset to use, a little bit on the bassy side, something of course you can adjust uh, quite easily with the Xbox app uh, on your Xbox, but this will work quite effectively for both your PC uh, as well as also your Xbox. Plus this will connect to your smartphone. So it's got three-way functionality for this headset because it's got built-in Bluetooth and you can have two devices connected at the same time. Really great value at just $99. All right, our next headset is the Steel Series Arctis One headset. This is a headset that I really enjoy, but also annoys me just a smidge. Now, this headset is one that they say has four-in-one connectivity for wireless con connection, which means it will connect to your PC, your Nintendo Switch, yeah, right here, your Android device, as well as also your PC. So you can connect this to your know, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, um, as well as also those other devices minus the Xbox. Now this is done with a USB Type-C dongle, which is pretty nice. So that can connect easily to your Nintendo Switch. Um, but there lies a little problem with this device. Now it's got a nice, a comfortable headband, uh, ear cups are comfortable, all the controls are on the left ear cup, but the main thing you'll notice with this is that it charges via micro USB, which is kind of baffling considering you have a USB type C dongle that connects to various devices. So that is something that might set you back. It does come with the necessary cables you need to, to charge it and will last you 20 hours in terms of charge time. Also uses the Clearcast microphone that you find in all Steel Series Arctis line headsets. So that is a big plus and it's currently priced at around 19 dollars or so so definitely worth picking up okay so last but not least are the hs70 headsets from corsair so we've got the hs70 bluetooth 
uh, from Corsair and the HS70 Pro Wireless. They are similar but also have differences. Now retails for about $99. These are great headsets and probably top of the line compared to everything else. Uh, these both have 50 mm neodymium drivers, give you some really nice, rich, robust sound. When it comes to the microphone, you can hear the microphone as you heard with all the other uh, headsets. Really nice, clean, crisp microphone. Don't have to bring it too close to your mouth. Uh, the Bluetooth version uh, does support 24-bit uh, audio uh, via USB to PC, while of course this has uh, some really solid audio all around. Now you get do get 7.1 surround sound for the Pro Wireless, and the Pro Wireless will connect to your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 via the USB dongle, while the HS70 Bluetooth will connect to any of your gaming devices that support Bluetooth, so your smartphone, uh, your PC, uh, as well as also things like your Nintendo Switch. So that is the HS70 uh, and the HS70 Pro from Corsair. Let's go ahead and round up this video. All right, I think I have enough headsets for you guys to select and pick from. Um, honestly, you can't go wrong with any of them. They all have different benefits and disadvantages, but they're all priced under $100 and they will work with multiple devices. Uh, so if you have say a PS4 or a PS5, and a PC, or you have your mobile device and maybe an Xbox, you can use any of these headsets around to do all you want to do with your gaming needs. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, let me know. Definitely use the links down below to support the channel and also pick up one of these headsets if you want to. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.